the greater good. Here, I got my KS0. Um, I'm going to try to set it up. It's going to be quick and dirty. I just got home from work. It was a long day. I got to work real early tomorrow, but I am too pumped not to try. So um, go to Ice River's website. Go to support. Go to tutorial. Go to whatever minor you got. KS0 for me. And scroll and of course pay super close attention to all of the stuff in the beginning here because it's going to be probably some legal waivers I'm guessing um, let's see points out some of the obvious stuff yeah this thing doesn't have like too many fans on it guys um, you might have already saw my other video but there's like two little brown fans on the back um, they look like mini Noctura fans I was saying in the other video but I have no idea I can't really see what brand they are or anything so Anyway, it does say um, that you'll need to provide some sort of convection, it says, which basically means stick a fan in front of this thing, guys. So I got a fan here. Um, you guys can tell I like the orange, black, and white theme, I guess. Hey, that's my, my logo. Um, so anyway, back to trying to figure this thing out. Um, make sure you have a fan on it, basically. The heat, heat sink fans, or the fins are not enough. Um, so it says, please connect the machine to Ethernet first, then plug in the power cord. During the startup process, you'll see red and green status lights constantly on. After about a minute, the green status light will start blinking, indicating that the miner has success successfully started. So let's just go for it. Let's plug the Ethernet cable in. Hmm. All right, boom. And then let's power it up and it says it'll take a minute so I'm not gonna bore you with like some blinking lights and stuff I'll get back to you in a sec okay so it's been a bit of, about a minute and the green status light will start blinking indicating that the miner successfully started and cool we got a green blinky light so far so good uh, right now it's pulling 68 watts um, I haven't set it up to do anything yet but it's pulling 68 watts so all right let's see what's next so um, their instructions are not super clear. Uh, I found that they have a batch processing tool, um, English download, click on that, and then you're gonna need to unzip a file. Um, let me see if I can find it. All right, Ice River Miner Tool. Um, let me just copy this uh, so I can put it in its own folder so I can extract it. All right, Ice River Miner Tool. I right-clicked on it. I made a little folder on my desktop, and I'm pasting it in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and extract it. And let's see. Oh. Maybe it already extracted. I'm running this anyway. Let's see if the Miner Tool pops up. I didn't think I extracted it. Oh, great. It's in a foreign language. Um, hmm. Yeah. Don't understand any of that. Let's try. Yeah, give me a second. Let me see if something's wrong here. I'll I'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, problem solving at its finest, guys. I clicked on the English download first and unzipped it and opened the program, and it was all in Chinese. So guess what I did? I clicked on the Chinese download just for the hell of it, just to see if it would work. And yeah, sure enough the Chinese download is actually in English so strike that reverse it download the Chinese one I guess if you speak English okay next we need to de detect the IP address of the KS0 so I hooked it up to my laptop via USB mine's a USB-C on the end so I guess whatever connection you guys have and then we're gonna hit um, we're gonna open this up again and then you hit detect IP and then you long press the button next to the blinky lights and yep my IP address showed up um, I don't want to show you my IP address but what you do is you copy that IP address um, that IP address that shows up on the screen is going to be the IP address you need to punch into your um, web browser and they say they recommend Google Chrome for the web browser Okay guys, it worked. I punched in the IP address uh, and there we go, but it's in Chinese. So let's go ahead and get this to translate to English. 
Okay, login name and password. I do know that they provide you, it's like admin, a oh, real, real nice, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all right. Admin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom. Okay, uh, it's it's doing its thing. It's ramped up, it's already booted up. Looks like it took about five minutes to get up to 112 giga hash per second. And then it looks like it kind of fizzled out a little bit, but we're still getting 104 giga hash per second. Well, somebody is. Um, let me figure out how to punch in like the address and get everything all set up, guys. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, it says the next thing we need to do is change the password. I agree. Um, so click user settings, enter the current password that I just showed you guys. I think it's ad admin123456780 is the password. And then um, click the save button. And then after you change your password, you need to log in again with your new password. And then from there, we're gonna configure mining pools and wallets. So, so far, so good. Um, let me just change my password and stuff real quick, guys. I'll be back. Okay, next, we're gonna set up our pool address and our wallet address. Um, it's, this actually is pretty intuitive, guys. Like, the, the directions they gave me are pretty easy so far, um, with the exception of the whole um, switching between the Chinese instructions and the English instructions uh, when I, uh, showed you earlier, I downloaded the English instructions there in Chinese, but that was the only hiccup so far. So go to minor settings, um, and then you can punch in your pool address. And it's kind of cool, like, um, say one of your pool, one of the pools goes down, which, you know, it's rare, but it happens, I guess. Um, it'll mine to a backup pool for you. So um, here's the pools that they said you can use. Um, it looks like Caspa pool, Wooly Pulley, Hero Miners, K1 Pool, ACC Pool, F2 Pool, Cryptex. Um, and it looks like they've got options for solo mining too, guys. Like, I don't know. I mean, I thought when I watched RPM's video, um, he I think he tried to solo mine it, and then, like, the thing bricked, and he had to have, um, like, uh, Ice River remote into the machine and change some stuff around and reset it. So I don't know if you want a FAFO with this stuff just yet. Um, I'm gonna try hero miners. I, I like hero miners uh, pool um, And I gotta just punch that in let's see uh, Copy let's just do it. Let's just go for it. Um, I don't know if I want to do the mining solo. So I'm just gonna um, copy the hero miner stratum the pool my pool one and then uh, I've got to change my region to one two zero six because I'm in America and then uh, this is their address so um, I'm gonna punch in my wallet and um, I made a new wallet for this this device uh, I'm gonna mine just on the KS0 to this address that I just made so that way um, if you guys want you can follow along see how I'm doing with the KS0 so let me punch that in and change the password here the mining pool for uh, hero miners then I put uh, woolly pulley as a backup one and um, click save and it successfully went through so um, now I have to reboot it and then wait for the machine to reboot don't power it off and then I guess on the home page it'll say connected and then I'll just see if it starts mining some caspa so I mean gosh that was that was really not that bad guys um, let me uh, let me reboot the machine real quick, and then uh, I guess we'll see. I mean, hopefully it works. I mean, so far so good. Okay, click restart miner. Ask me if I want to. I'm gonna say sure. Okay, looks like it's rebooting because it's down to six watts right now. So it's working. It's Caspa KS Zero Magic. Just give it a minute and see what happens. Okay, guys, it is mining. It's ramping up. Um, right now, it's been running for a couple minutes. It's like at 47 giga hash per second, and we're pulling about 72 watts at the power meter here. So, 
uh, not quite the 100 watts they were saying originally. Um, I also thought I'd read somewhere that it was going to be like in the 60s, like high 60s. Um, but originally I thought they said 100 watts. Anyway, what we're seeing, legit, um, while it's ramping up, is 72 watts. Um, I'll click back on this after it gets up to its full hatch rate and I'll see what the wattage is. Alright guys, so I'm getting 100 giga hash per second. And I'm only pulling 72 watts, 72 watts still, guys. So that's pretty good. Um, hey, babe, you didn't eat your dinner. It's time to go to bed. Not right now. I'm doing crypto stuff. All right, guys. So that's it. I mean, 100 gigahertz per second at 72 watts uh, on the KS0 from Ice River. You saw it here first. So please subscribe and like. And hey, Ice River, if you feel like sending me a KS3 to test, um, I will totally do that for you. Don't let Red Panda have all the fun, okay? So, yeah, anyway, consider liking and subscribing to my channel if you like this content. And I'm super happy, guys. Um, I hope you get your KS0 soon. And let's mine some Caspa. Um, but don't forget, keep it decentralized for the greater good. The greater good.